For the 2013 Project for Awesome, the Pittsburgh Nerdfighters have decided to throw their support behind the Carnegie Library System of Pittsburgh. With more than 2 million visitors and 3.5 million items borrowed each year, Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh is the region's most visited asset and one of the largest public libraries in Pennsylvania. Established in 1895 by philanthropist Andrew Carnegie as a public trust to be funded by the community, the library derives approximately 90% of its annual operating budget from public or government sources, including the Allegheny County Regional Asset District, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and the City of Pittsburgh. Their mission statement is as follows. Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh's mission is to engage our community in literacy and learning. The library's vision is that through Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, the people of our region will develop the literacies and connections that support individual achievement and strengthen the power of the community. The Carnegie Library System has sponsored many events for Pittsburgh area nerdfighters, including hosting our monthly meetings, special events, like a stop on the contour and a screening of the film to decrease world suck, and even talks by authors, including Scott Westerfeld and John Green. Gosh, there are a lot of people here. <laughs> I see that a lot of us are mediating this experience through video. Um, <laughs> So, Hank, that's a lot of nerd fighters, and this is Hosni Mubarak. That's called a transition, Hank. It's a skill of professional writers. I cut the cheering, so you guys did all that for nothing. But thank you. <laughs> he originally wrote the far superior line, we must love one another or die. I always think about that when I think about how books connect us. Great books show us not only the importance of loving one another, but the nature of that love. They show us that Auden did not mean we must love other members of our political party or die, or that we must love our fellow countrymen or die. He meant that our survival is staked on the other, on the truly other. As hard as it is for us to understand that the people we know are as fully human as we are, it's even harder to imagine the truly other effectively. Because we don't see those people on Facebook or on Twitter. And this is why we must do the hard work to remain conscious of the fact that other people, despite the circumstances, have birthdays. I believe that reading and writing and engaged internet-based creation can, help, can be helpful paths to that consciousness. But I do not pretend that it is easy. Uh, I'm really delighted to be here, and, and I'm, uh, as always, happy to be in Pittsburgh and, and grateful uh, to Pittsburgh. I want to thank uh, the Pittsburgh uh, arts and lecture series at the Carnegie Library. Uh, I want to thank all of you for being here. I do want to thank, uh, frankly, the best part of the evening has already happened. Uh in order to support the Carnegie Library System of Pittsburgh, please follow the links in the description in order to donate. From the Pittsburgh Nerdfighters, thank you.